Now, recently been following the, the political or the nas education, national education scene, uh, you would be aware there's a great contest that is taking place whether what subject maths and science should be taught in. There are groups who demand that the maths and science should be taught in their own language or mother tongue because they believe by doing so you will show the relevance of the language. Two, they also bring forward the argument that students learn effectively when they are taught in their own mother tongue. The counter argument is maths and science are commercial or economic subjects. The success in understanding maths and science and able to communicate maths and science effectively to the global world will determine the economic success of the individual and the community the individual uh, participates in. So now the question is, or the, the sad part is there are not many arguments about how to improve teaching and understanding about maths and science which I am particularly interested in. So they are, one would see that the argument here is less pedagogical and more on their political uh, uh, perception about what uh, education is for or it's about. Now, however, I would like to cover more in detail about certain constant, uh, uh, constant social groups that want to be involved in education. The first one are the environmental groups. <coughs> I believe they have a very important stay or they have an important reason to participate because the future of this world depends on how well we take care of the environment and having a huge say a, a contribution from the environmentalist in the curriculum can contribute to a better future. In addition to this, there are groups from the medical fraternity who want to talk about the importance of substance abuse that they are concerned that is rampant in our society. Remember, the whole idea of curriculum to some extent is to educate the, educate the young who will subse uh, subsequently live in society and participate in society. So educating the young in meaningful way will eventually have a citizen that is participating in society in a meaningful way. Now the next one that is really important personally to me, watching the environment that I'm living in, is the consumerism or the advocate of responsible consuming irresponsible consumption you will i would like to also tie this in in and in personal man financial management you will see more and more people getting in in depth because they are overzealously uh, consuming sensational uh, consumable products I mean, the moment you see a handphone, you like it, you buy it. The moment you see uh, a pretty pair of jeans, you buy it, regardless of affordability, uh, regardless of, of scrutinizing whether the product meets your needs. Students are not taught the difference between what they need and what they want and how do you allocate your resources for what you need and what you want. So these are very important things that somehow it has been missing in the curriculum recently. Curricul students need to come and live in the real world and curriculum schooling prepares you to live in the real world. If that is true, then many of these ideas that social interest groups want to put their foot in because they believe that the students who that comes out to the real world do not have these competencies. The next group that wants to be involved are the health groups. Uh, they are talking about a uh, whole issue about HIV, obesity, and a whole kind of things that are affecting the, the futures, that will affect the future generation of this country. I mean, I remember when I was young, uh, when I went to school particularly, I had the luxury of having good PE teachers. I had the luxury of going to a school where we took, uh, we took competitive sports very seriously. I had really no time to do all this, uh, what we call the lepa thing. We had, uh, we had, uh, I had chosen the sports of hockey. We had every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Tuesday, Thursday is from two, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And on Saturday, it was 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock. 
almost six months of the year we have to train the entire november december holiday three times a week morning eight to one we had to be on the field there was extensive importance given to uh, sports Therefore, health wasn't an issue because there's a correlation between, I assume everybody is aware that there's a correlation between lifestyle and health. And there was a great importance given to active lifestyle. But somehow I sense that these things are systematically disappearing in the school system. So the health group is terribly concerned because they need to come in and or they want to come in. Uh, recently, I was watching a show in, op uh, in a show, uh, a particular speaker in opera who believe that the American economy will literally fall on its heels due to diabetics. Because the amount of people that are going to be, uh, the amount of people that the health system needs to confront in, in by 2020 is going to be so huge that economically it's not feasible to take care of so many people. And the whole reason comes from the notion of healthy living. Now the la second last issue that we would like to bring to is, is uh, of course, uh, sex education. Many people believe that sex education is about having sex. Uh, I guess that interpretation is it's good. However, we could stretch this interpretation. Sex education is about reproductive health. One could also incorporate parenting, the importance of parenting in society, and and the arts and science of what parenting. And, and creating a household is about. So sex, sex education could in many ways be beyond uh, biological reproduction or just the act of having sex. The, more importantly, the notion of responsibility. Then we can also talk about crime prevention and how society's involvement in crime. Uh, I believe this is significantly missing. Uh, we have advocated our entire washed our hands, our entire responsibility of crime prevention to the authorities rather than citizens are thought to be vigilant about uh, crime. It starts off from the school. If the school system are created where we, we encourage people to uh, not so much whistleblowers but incorporate uh, citizenship or participation in creating a meaningful community within the school, then it will be quite natural for members of school to go out to the real world and, and recreate the school environment. So I believe that this is also another important part, a group of social interests that needs to systematically penetrate the curriculum. And most importantly uh, is government participation in the government. Citizenship, <coughs> citizenship participation is crucial for a democratic society. One needs to understand as a citizen of a democratic society, you have responsibilities. You have responsibilities to participate in a political structure that expects you to be involved. Because if you are not part of the political structure, you cannot condemn, you cannot critique a political success, structure. In How do you participate? Number one, to be well informed. Number two, to help others to become informed. Number three, to vote and to and to help to hold your elected members or representative accountable for what they have uh, for for issues which you have voted them for. Now, all in all, having special interest group in curriculum is not a bad thing, but having what is important is the curriculum needs to give space for contesting views. Because I could easily design a curriculum on the surface saying that I've inco incorporated the needs of special interests. But I could be shallow enough not to incorporate the contesting views. Students need to know in real life, issues are not black and white. There is always a dichotomous view to everything. And a successful citizen, a successful adult is prepared to navigate the tensions between differences, the duality of nature. Do I go left or do I go right? Do I participate in this crime or do I report this crime? Do I give bribe or do I accept my responsibility for breaking the law? These are contesting issues that exist in real life. Does the curriculum to be designed in such a way that it allows multiple interest groups to penetrate the curriculum to give their views? 
and the students must able to uh, live within the tensions of this diverse this di duality of nature.